Well, we're back for another video. This one's a little different. This one is the story of serendipity. I have a six wheel drive Parenti ambulance, but our ambulance is set up as a camper. That's something my senior advisor had seen before and really took an interest in, but can't drive. So we've got this thing. We're gonna set it up as a camper. This is the vehicle we're picking up. It's gonna be the senior advisor's camper van. All right, so we're going to begin works on Serendipity, the mini camper van. The story of that is on my channel not so long ago called The Story of Serendipity. You'll see that there. I will link it in the description below and maybe even on the bottom of the screen. I'm not good at remembering to put links in the description. Anyway, this is a vehicle that is pretty much stripped out to a bare platform right now. My mother would normally drive or borrow my six wheel drive Land Rover Parenti ambulance that's set up as a camper. However, she can't push the clutch down. So, between us all, we arranged to get her a different vehicle that can be a mini camper. And I have a big box full of bits and pieces. We're going to go inside and uh, discuss with her what she wants to do. And the air horns are not for the mini camper unless she wants them. They're going in the ambulance because the Land Rover horn. Makes people look for the nearest Prius when I toot it. So, let's go and see what we can do. Oh, and we have a ton of wiring, both 7 core and 6 mil dual core. We're going to see what we can do about wiring this vehicle up as well. Alright, so this is the back of Serendipity. It's a bit of a blank canvas. The extra seats have been removed. Um, this seat's probably going to go too to make room for the toilet. Um, but yeah, primarily I think we're going to run our power up this side here, mount our sockets and stuff in this panelling on the side here. Um, there's air conditioning controls there, there's ashtrays that will never get used, we might recycle them um, with some little laser cut panels. There's another one over here, I, I think from here we'll probably run a cable up interior up and over here. We're going to have a TV over here somewhere, and the nuts and bolts are designed to fit into this little rail here. We can pull this cover off and drop a captive nut in there and make use of those rails and they run down both sides. The power, the battery system, the lithium ion battery system we're going to have up the front here. We'll probably put an Anderson socket wire up behind the dash and run all the way around. We'll stick one of those adder fuses into the uh, standard fuse box and we'll run additional wire up here so we can monitor in, um, vehicle battery volts and maybe switch between that. Um, over on the fridge here so we can run the fridge off vehicle battery while we're driving or while she is driving this is going to be a one-person vehicle um, so yeah and uh, we're going to make up a custom floor pan I reckon there is some debate over floor tiles whether we will use them or not um, but anyway this carpet might get removed in favor of a carpeted uh, timber floor plate um, the, if we do it right should have sockets to fit the feet for the bed uh, which will keep everything nice and square um, and we can bolt a rail onto the wheel arch here and stuff anyway um, we're just going to do a general layout at the moment have a bit of a discussion about how we want to do this so uh, that one I'll do off camera and uh, yeah we'll get stuck into this and probably this is going to take me a couple of weeks for this video um, you guys will be seeing it probably in a matter of seconds but for me I've got to take the slow road so We'll see us uh, in the next clip, whenever that may be. Alright, so we're a bit later the same day, but uh, I've just been playing with some bits and bobs. Got our nuts and bolts. We've got some nuts and bolts in the captive rail here. That's working rather well. We've worked out we have enough cable to go around. We've got a loose idea where the fuse box is going to go. Um, and we've worked out where we want to put the panels. And this one is going to be over here, probably in place of the ashtray there. We're going to have USB or two USBs up there somewhere and a lighter socket along. Um, we might rip the quick charge USB out of this, put that over there and put a standard 4.2 amp USB in that one. Um, and these screw things we'll configure as we need for maybe TV mounting or whatever we want to put along there. And uh, yeah, we should be cooking with gas. Anyway, now this is where I'm going to take a day or two to go and plan stuff out. But uh, yeah, we'll get there. Bed here is going to rise up a bit. We're going to have cupboards underneath that and a drawer that comes out. 
baskets are tucked under there, toilet up there. This is going to be a footstep. Not sure what she's got planned for that, but we'll figure that out. I'm not sure if these events or speakers up here, but we'll figure something out. There is a double din sound system up there too, but I think I've got a double din Sony system we can shove in there with a remote control. So anyway, we'll figure all of that out, but uh, we've got to start with the wiring down here first. Okay, so it's a couple of days later, and uh, we've stripped the passenger seat out. I've wired up, or pre-wired most of the fuse box here. I've got some coat hanger wire. We're about to start threading cable under the carpet. And uh, yeah, we're finding all sorts of little hidden uh, surprises in terms of um, filth and lost items and stuff when we're pulling panels out. But yeah, we'll be right, we'll get this in. It's pretty hard to film this and do the work, but you know, we'll, we'll work as best we can. All right, I'm not sure how well this angle will work, but put our number one wire through and then we can pull all the rest through from here. carpet up. There we go. Alright, it's one wire through, now we can use the rest as a leader. Right, let's get the rest through and go from there. Alright, fuse box is in. Probably a neater way of doing this, but it's in. All right, so we're sort of making progress. It still looks like a mess in here, but I've got that cable out. That has taken me about an hour. Christ, i really glad I don't work in comms anymore. One of the things I hated most was stringing cables in modern cars. And by modern, I mean plastic, fantastic cars with all this stupid plastic body paneling. I absolutely hate it anyway okay well we're getting there we have a USB socket in place we've got two lighter sockets coming out the cables have laid out the cable length I measured with the laser rangefinder on the phone was exactly perfect with the little bit extra that I allowed um, I've got to take off in a minute to pick up apprentice but we'll be back to do the rest of this and look at the uh, Plover that's taking up residence on the front nature strip. Okay, we've made more progress. We have our Anderson plug and quick charge and lighter socket all in one spot. Our cables all the way run, and we have some big heavy cable to the Anderson and a 20 amp fuse back over there. We have the remaining uh, seven core here with the extra four circuits. In here also going up to the top because there's probably going to be a TV over here at some point so this allows us some power for that and uh, we've just terminated in the seatbelt hole we've done the seatbelt delete got a few covers to put back in but uh, we're well on the way all right we've got it mostly assembled now and my tools all cleaned up there is two USB charging hidden in that little round thing over here we've got a lighter plug here and here this one may or may not get moved in the future. These guys are here until I can laser cut a facade to go under them. But they're glowing and lit up and we've got a quick charge on that one. And an Anderson. These two are four additional circuits. Um, and one wire goes up to here for the TV. We'll connect that up as needed later on. We've got our nuts and bolts in our little rail here. And we'll go around to the front. Alright, so up the front we have our stylishly angled fuse box. Um, everything running through these big Anderson plugs. We have this off to our solar charger and this off to that fuse box there. Pretty simple, you can't get that backwards, you can't disconnect you can't connect it wrong. There's no way you can get that wrong, even if you're half asleep. You can even plug the wire branch in the wrong way around. And the toilet fits. So we're definitely getting there. All right, last little order of duty for the day is replace this piece of wood with a proper battery bracket. Though the piece of wood's doing a good job, we want the right thing in here just in case. Anyway, let's swap them over. All right, piece of wood is gone. Proper bracket is in place. 
There's a little bit of movement in here. I've kept the rubber bushes because they are really good at stopping those wing nuts from vibrating loose. The last thing we want is this thing getting loose in here. All right, we're all looking pretty good. All right, I'm officially done for the day. We've got more to go with this, but not today. I think at this point, I'm gonna make the executive decision to call this an, uh, a video. And uh, we'll do some more on the progress of this later on. Um, I think tomorrow this goes to get the horrible tinting off the back. And we're going to take it to the sign riders and we're going to get some uh, nice one-way mesh fitted to the outside. So you've got a bit of privacy in here, but still the ability to see out. So anyway, let's, uh, I'll see you in the next one. And maybe it'll be an Argo episode. I'll have to find out.